Hello guys, it has been a long while now since the last vlog. I didn't vlog the last few days because I went back to college and that was quite busy. And I also went to work as well yesterday, so I've been busy the last two days, but I thought I'm gonna vlog today, so yeah. Anyway, so I am back. Um, the last time I vlogged was when I made those cinnamon rolls, which um, I have to say, it went quite stale quite quickly. Like, you have, you have to eat them like within like, like the first few days or else they go stale. I ate mine this morning, but last of my cinnamon rolls, and they were literally so stale and didn't taste of anything really. So, you need to eat those in like the first like, few days. I even tried to like cook them as well, like put them in the microwave and warm up, but that didn't do, didn't do the trick. So, um, anyway, but yeah, I'm back from work um, today. I'm trying to charge my battery because it's not so um, but yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I don't know what to do really. I can get some editing done, because I need to get some editing done. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I decided to make something what's called tie-dye flour bread. So, I know it's been like late, it's like three years late, but I made flour bread a few weeks ago actually. And it actually tastes quite nice actually. Everyone says it tastes horrible and it smells and it doesn't taste very nice. But I actually it just tastes like... Like vanilla flavored olive, like omelets. But yeah, it tasted literally just like omelets to me. So let's see what the modes were. But anyway, I'm gonna make this like cloud bread again, but I wanna use food coloring and do different sections of cloud bread, like a different color. So a bit like tie dye cloud bread. I'm not sure what people did this already, but I'm new today, so. Um, yeah, you basically just like do what you do with like cloud bread, just like whip up a few eggs and just mix it into like, say, fluffy egg cloud and split into sections and then put food coloring in it. It makes it really nice tie dye bread, so that's what we're going to do it now. Okay, I managed to put the egg whites in here, but we'll sort of managed to. Um, I was using like the, uh, you know, like chicken egg hole thing which you guys probably seen me do loads of times. Well, a bit of egg yolk might slip through its beak because you know what bits like yolk there, but I think it's alright. It's got most of the egg whites in, so it's just a little whip as normal, but I also just checked the eggs as well and it's gone past its like best before date. So its best before date was like 29th of August, but I smelt it. I didn't smell of anything. It smelled quite fine and it looks fine, so I reckon it should be fine. Okay, this is a massive failure. It didn't whip, it just made like a runny mixture. I, mean, I think it's the egg yolks. Yeah, the egg yolks definitely just like kind of ruined it. Oh, and also, it doesn't even feel like whipped eggs. It just feels like pancake batter, which leads on to another thing. I might actually see if I can make pancakes with this thing. Let's see what it's like to make pancakes with. So, I'm gonna try and make tie dye pancakes, which i um, not sure if it's gonna be a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. I've definitely not made the pancakes right. Like, this is like ingredients for like, Flour bread, not pancakes, but it looks like pancake mixture. It feels as thin as well because I took a spoonful and it kept like dripping into the thing. So I reckon this could make tie dye pancakes. So I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna try and make something else. And that something else is pancakes. So I'm gonna try and make tie dye pancakes. Okay, I've got this like what's left of this thing. That was a massive fail. Like it would not cook in the pan. When I put it in, it's like this like goopy kind of thing. It wasn't a pancake. It was just a lot of cooked goop. I've got what's like actually been cooked, and ugh, the feeling of it's not very good. Not too sure if I want to eat it. It's just like literally just goop. I'm gonna try it. See if I've actually made an invention. It's like one of like when you when you like experiment in the kitchen as a child and it's got like horribly wrong. Absolutely no way. That is disgusting. Ew, that is just disgusting. This is a massive fail. I want to make it tie like cloud bread and make it so like cute and kawaii. Um, but that is just a massive fail. Oh my god, I am very tired. Oh my god, it's about midnight right now and I haven't vlogged anything else since yesterday I mean today afternoon actually. Wow, well, I'm very tired. Obviously, as you guys know, well, you guys won't know today, but, well, whenever you're watching this, today is the 8th of September, and as you guys also know, the 8th of September 
is the first anniversary of the Queen dying because she died on like the 8th of September last year. And obviously it's the first anniversary this year. But I thought I'll tell you guys a bit of a story of how I found out because how I found out that she died was um, quite an interesting one. So I actually recorded myself reacting to the news that she died. So you guys can get to see that maybe later on. But I was in here actually, I was in this like bedroom. And I was like trying to decorate for autumn. Like I actually been shopping just like before the announcement came. So I came home from college around about half four at night. And then I was like sat at home till then. And around about 5 p.m. I was like contemplating about going to like get some autumn decorations because once I like, decorate for autumn, it was like rain that day, so I thought it's perfect to decorate for autumn. And I remember like contemplating as well. I remember thinking like, do I really want to be out and in a store if they announce a death? Because how awkward would that be if like they announced that she died? Like you know, because it's like one of those things where you'll definitely remember where you are. Then it's getting to like half five and I thought, well. I doubt they'll announce it now. I think they'll announce it the next morning. That's all I thought anyway. So I went to like get some awesome decorations. Came back like half an hour later at like six. And I started to like go upstairs, like decorate my, my bedroom for autumn. Like I put some awesome garlands. I vlogged it as well. So you guys get to see that in like a vlog, which I did last year. It's under something like, I don't know, autumn arts and crafts, something from last year. And the exact moment that she like the announced that she died, I was trying to like untangle like it's like autumn like light garland thing which like tangled and I was trying to like untangle that I was actually stood right where that corner is where my wardrobe was and I like trying I was stood there trying to untangle this like <laughs> Thing. Um, and I had like the news on in the background because I put on like ITV news like in the background but I didn't think you'd announce that she died um, especially at the time of the night because it's getting to like half six and I thought I'm not gonna announce it now I reckon I'll like, announce it like I don't know in the morning at some point so I had that on the background on TV downstairs and I was like try and I was recording myself like trying to untangle these like string lights and then at like half six at some point after like half six the announcement came that she died but then I very faintly because you know how like normally when like a member of the royal family die, like they normally start playing the national lamp firm and it's like very sombre, very sort of like serious. So I was like going to like, untangle his like lights and I finally got there and I very faintly heard the national lamp from go off. And for a moment I remember standing there thinking, why are you playing that? It's like what's happening? And then I remember realising Oh my god, this is like not good. I literally dropped everything, like I literally dropped my string lights, like dropped everything. I think he like knocked over a tripod as well. I think I knocked the tripod over, like dropped my string lights and like ran downstairs. It was very weird and it's like one of those things where it's definitely like history. Like you definitely knew where you were when the news came. I actually recorded this like announcement as well. I actually recorded myself reacting to this announcement. So the footage you're about to see is of me running down the stairs to hear the announcement so okay this is it this is like oh my god this is like so cringy because i like generally freaked out so i mean i recorded and like i kind of forgot about it until like yesterday and i realized oh i actually have a recording of like me reacting to you know the, um, saying that the queen has died so i thought i'd show you guys so it's about 15 seconds it's basically just like this i don't know if you can see it or not but i'm gonna show it to you guys You can hear the national lamp from playing. Oh my god. I could not believe it. There it was. It's cringy looking back, but I was like genuinely like show show. God, I need sleep. I was like genuinely so shocked because it was like literally a part of history, like an era has ended, and so I'll say to be a part of history and have like history happen on like a random Thursday night was like a moment of like oh my god but it's like about 15 seconds and I was literally gasping like I could not believe it uh, but anyway I'm gonna go to bed now I'm very tired I need some sleep because tomorrow I'm going to the beach so it's meant to be like, the hottest day of the year tomorrow so uh, let's hope it can stay the hottest day of the year so I need to go to sleep now it's about it's about half past midnight, so I need to get to sleep now. And um, see you guys tomorrow. So, bye.